time. We're going to get into question of the day coming up in a sec. Today is Giving Tuesday. It is. Happy yeah. Giving Tuesday. Give it up. Give it up. Give it all. Give it a little bit. Give it away. Give it away. Give it all. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Now. Never going to give you up. All. all we are saying. Want to give it a try. It can be really fun. Yes, today, Giving Tuesday, they're saying that, you know, you're supposed to choose a charity or nonprofit mm-hmm. and give what you can. Yep. So what nonprofit are you going to give to today, Jess? I already did it. I did it a couple of days ago to uh, the Shepherd's Office. Oh, Yeah, okay. Georgetown. They had a link online. Oh, they have okay. a Facebook page set up. Nice. You would have an answer. What? You, you would right away have an answer. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, you put me on the spot. Oh, I don't no, know. No, I did it already. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. I bet you freaking did. And then I have a friend of mine. <laughs> of she course. actually, yes. she's going to do another Goody, one. Goody, goody, Jessica, week. of course. No, I have another friend this week. She already went there. Okay. She took a whole truck full of stuff mm, over there. Cool. And what is the matter? <laughs> and then she's looking for donations. So we're going to help her out and get some things together. No, that's a great thing. Yeah, we are. We're going to get some things together for her and, you know, give mm. them to her. I have another friend online. He lives in Florida now. And do you remember the Just Soup Kitchen where we went and we did move that bus, the Extreme Makeover? That was a while ago. Yes, kind of. Yeah, so they're yeah. on Route 9. Well, apparently last night he put up a post. He's in Florida now, but when he was here, he would always collect donations to take him over there. Okay. But now that he's like long distance, it's like a little different, you yeah. know, because he's not here to do that. So he put out this big post letting everyone know, mm. you know, what they're looking for over there. So I have another friend who commented, and now they're looking for stuff. So we're all going to get stuff together and do that. Now Jessica's a, a 501c3. I was like, okay. Okay. So <laughs> those are the three. Try, I, for, you know that I know what's going on locally here. Yes, my gag did not work. I was trying to get you caught up with like, no. oh, whatever. And now all of a sudden, you're an expert on you're no, you're you're, because, you're a ph- Jessica is now a philanthropist. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's what's trending right now. Because that's it's Giving Tuesday, on. you're a philanthropist. Gosh. <laughs> we do our good deeds, Bill. Now we do do good deeds. So. um they're, they 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 got a thing now where you go up and you know they're always like oh would you like to donate when you check out at the store oh I've already done that but lately they get me every time lately they've like made it harder because it's like cause it used to be like oh would you like to give to kids for Christmas you know but or would you like to give to our uh, you know local charities but now they say would you like to give to St Jude Oh, well, gets me every time. Mine, would you like to round up for the Ronald McDonald house? And I have already done that two or three times. Okay. So that's done. I never say no. I don't. Well, aren't you the philanthropist? I don't. The philanthropist. I don't feel comfortable saying no. 752. (laughs) What if it's a self checkout? I don't feel comfortable. Well, you don't have to say no. You just hit, hit, you just hit no. Have I gone? I don't think I've gone through anything at the self checkout. Oh God, seven fifty two. Have you? <laughs> what do they ask? How for? else do you check out? They don't ask for anything. Yeah, it'll come up on the screen. Would you like to round up, or would you whatever? Oh, I don't have that at the roundup. This is just when I go through the drive through. Oh. Yeah. But not self checkout. I give two seven fifty two. <laughs> Power one zero one seven, the hottest music studios, sponsored by Odds and Ends Smoke Shop, with locations in Del Mar and Seaford, carrying the full line of top tier Doctor Dabber products, e rigs for vaporizing, and a full range of water pipes and accessories. Visit Odds and Ends online at oe four twenty dot com. Jessica, the philanthropist. Why do you say that? <laughs> you ask me, and then I tell them what's going on, what organizations are out there looking for things i asked if you were given and you said oh yeah i already did i I donate today tomorrow and the next day no that's not what i said i got a friend we got organizations (laughs) (laughs) i've never had a cavity and i don't drink i don't smoke that is true i've never smoked before I don't know how to smoke a cigarette. I don't. And that's so funny. I don't funny. know how to I've smoke never a cigarette. I've never done it. I don't know how to do it. And Bill thinks that's so hilarious. I do not have any cavities. I've never had a cavity before. I have all of my teeth. All 32 teeth. Now that's a lie. <laughs> 
Bill makes fun of me for that. No, no, no. That's great, Jess. What else? No, I think. What else no, did you say? I wish. I wish I had. And all I my don't teeth. drink, but I do like champagne. Sometimes I like mimosa. So you do drink? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then, I'm a lush. Jess, Jess gets lit up. <laughs> Jess gets lit up. Uh, oh, gosh. That's funny. Bill's like, you have all your teeth, no cavities. You don't drink. You don't smoke. You're just Miss Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, gosh. That's funny. Hey, it's Giving Tuesday. Oh, I'm a philanthropist. Oh, I give every day. I did not say that. <laughs> Round up. Give every time. Stop. Well, I do. Make a donation. Give every time. I can't say no. Tip. Tip 30%. I do. I have a problem. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. You guys see what I have to deal with? (sighs) Mm. Mm. Wow. Do we even have time for question of the day? This is a pretty good one. I think this is good. All right, go ahead. All right, so my boyfriend and I, we've been together for a while now. He is 40 years old and I'm 30. Well, he told me that he will only marry me if I won the lottery. Mm. We are both financially not stable right now due to the world situation. It's just not easy finding and keeping a job. We are both well educated on paper and in our minds. But does he have the right to even say that? I know that money does have a role in sustaining a partnership, etc. But it's just kind of harsh implying that I'm only worth something and to get married to if i won the lottery we both dream of living in a house etc but we can't do that um you know we don't have enough right now saved up etc is he kidding like only if you win the lottery i'll marry you if you win the lottery i mean you know she should have said well i won the lottery when i got you (laughs) (laughs) isn't that like one of those little funny things that you say (laughs) I hit the jackpot when I got you. <laughs> nah. No. I don't know about no, all that. I've heard that before. A little cheesy line. And are you with cheesy, are, are, you, are you with the guy cheesy, who said that? A little cheesy pickup line. Exactly. I won the lottery when I got you. That's the, exactly. You're not with him. <laughs> I hit the jackpot. Did Chadwick say that? <laughs> no, he did exactly. not. Exactly. <laughs> no. He has, you know, little dad jokes sometimes, but he didn't use that one. Yeah, I know. He didn't use that one. All right, so. So, yeah, I mean, the guy is pretty much saying saying that that I'm not going to marry you unless you, you know, win the lottery, which is, I mean, obviously. He's just insinuating you guys need to get more financially stable. So, she admits that, you know, they are both financially not stable right now. Um, It's hard finding and keeping a job. They're both well-educated, but they just can't keep a job. Money definitely sustains a partnership, et cetera. But she felt that it was just kind of harsh that he said that. I mean, I don't know if the word harsh is, he says, you, know, you know, does he have the right to say so? Like, I mean, yeah, he has a right to say or insinuate he doesn't want to get married until, until you guys financially get more stable. financial. Yes. You no. Know, um, Him saying, oh, until you win the lot, like, come on. She says, we dream about living in a house and, you know, but either one of them doesn't have enough money saved up right now. 302-858-5117. You want to comment? It's question of the day. 757. The Voice Radio Network and